Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading with me. This is Brooke and welcome back to Night for Tarot. Thank you for joining me. This is your weekly reading for March 5th to March 11th. Please watch for Sun Moon Rising in this video. I'm in a different location for this week's reading. <laughs> I'm actually comfy casual. <laughs> I'm sitting on my bed. <laughs> so I'm in a different location, same room, different locale. So let's get started. We come in with the sun for the week's reading. Aquarius, you're doing pretty good. Like you're going through some stuff, but you're like hanging out with friends, good times, getting some sun. You know, you're feeling positive about your changes in your life. Uh, there's a lot of success happening around you. While there may be other things going on, in your life, especially surrounding your relationships, but you're feeling pretty optimistic, upbeat, etc. Something's coming in with the, something from the past. We have the Six of Cups coupled with the Wish card. Now, something attached to Aquarius's past that is very much centered around or based upon some sort of wish fulfillment. You're either thinking about I wish things were different. I wish things could have turned out differently. I wish things perhaps could have uh, been a bit different. Maybe something that's marking Aquarius's childhood that is now showing up in relationships. Thinking about that, you could be discussing this with friends, family, your therapist. Oh, I wish growing up I would have had more of an experience like this and then perhaps this wouldn't be happening in my relationships. It's almost as if Aquarius is recognizing or coming to terms with something attached to your past, but I'm talking way back, like childhood past, parental relationships, experiences in the home, okay, that Aquarius is recognizing the patterns thereof, um, they're telling me trauma, okay, trauma, trauma type experiences that Aquarius is coming to terms with They the, where there's a lot of wishing or I wish things were a bit different attached to that experience, okay, very much something connected to the past. Then we come in with the page of wands next to the moon. You may be receiving news this week, Aquarius, but you're not trusting it. It's kind of like you're receiving news. It's coming across as good news. The Page of Wands, very much about good tidings, traditionally, good news. He's the messenger. You're receiving some type of news. But there's an element of deception with the Moon card. There's a little bit of fluctuation and maybe coming across a certain way and you're not trusting it because you know that that those words would not come out of that person's mouth or they wouldn't phrase this that way okay this could be in the written form Aquarius is not buying it something smells something smells sneaky so if it smells sneaky Aquarius Follow your nose this week because you're just not buying it, okay? There's some element of um, trickery. There's some element of deception with this news, however it's coming in for Aquarius. There's something definitely about a relationship. Who got this? Scorpio got this pair in their reading as well. We're coming in with the Two of Cups and the Four of Swords. There's a definite taking a break taking a retreat from a relationship. Okay, so Aquarius is very much something with a friendship, something with a relationship. This could even be in the workplace. You're taking a you're taking a step back. You've taken a break from it. There even could be a separation. You're just kind of, okay, I'm going to leave this over here for now. You're not so caught up in it. You're feeling pretty optimistic, okay? There's some sort of positivity about Aquarius that's kind of radiating off you. And you're just accepting it and being responsible, being a responsible adult, looking at it for what it is, taking a break, 
knowing that it needs to have a break, knowing that you need to perhaps step back from it. Somebody's dragging their feet. We come in with the King of Cups next to the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's dragging their feet. So this could be potential water sign, male, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, next to the Knight of Pentacles. And Libra got this pair in their reading as well. He's slow moving. He's taking his time next to the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's taking their time. Someone could be dragging their feet about something. Okay, so let's say for the ones that this resonates for, that there's been a separation or a break in a relationship. This person is slow moving about something. He's taking his time about it. He's not in a hurry to reconcile. He may not even be in a hurry to get a divorce, okay? There just seems to be some sort of slow moving, dragging their feet. Something's slow. It's, it's slow, and that may be where Aquarius is not too worried about it. This may be a mutual slowness together. Then we come in with the hangman and the four of pentacles. So the hangman tells me that there's a lot of indecision. Things are still up in the air. You may even feel a bit stuck in this situation because there could be a lot of holding on too tightly to property, holding on too tightly to money, okay? Maybe you haven't gotten to that stage yet where you have to split property or assets if you are going through a separation or divorce for who this resonates for because someone's really holding on tightly to money, to finance, to property, to possessions. You know, they don't want to let go of that Fabergé egg, okay? It's, it's, it was a, you know, an heirloom. <laughs> That's an example. So someone's kind of like, no, it's mine, not yours. And I'm hanging on to this and you're just going to have to kind of be on the fence. I'm on the fence about it. Someone's not wanting to, uh, let go. Someone's a bit too protective of that Fabergé egg. Anyway, a little humor. <laughs> then we come in with the Eight of Cups. So very much about leaving something, walking away, final exit. Aquarius, you're having this innate ability to really understand it for what it is. You're emotionally ready to walk out of something and to let it go. To really, you kind of, it's almost like you threw your arms up. You're like, that's it. I've had enough. <laughs> I'm stripping you of your princess points, uh, Tu Wong Fu. And I'm, I'm out. Hello, I'm out. You've had enough. It's the final exit for Aquarius. You're done. I gave, gave you emotionally, mentally, everything about myself. I'm done with you. You're not really like hung up and worried about it and bothered about it. You're out there with your friends. You're out doing things. You're being optimistic. You're living your life, okay? But you're ready. You're walking out of it. You're letting it go. You're letting it go. You're recognizing it for what it is. So I applaud you, Aquarius. So have a great week, Aquarius. Keep me posted. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my website below. If you'd like to book a reading with me, have a great week and I'll speak to you soon.